Okay, this car officially has me pissed off. <laughs> So instead of staying here and lighting this car on fire and just being done with it, I think what we're gonna do today instead is swap the Turbo 400 into Goldie Hawn. I've got my converter and flex plate right there. I'll go over those more later. And right here is the big beef boy itself. This is the Turbo 400 we're gonna be swapping into the truck. Hopefully as long as everything <laughs> goes well. The swap itself will be easy. It's gonna be all the little stuff like the shifter, shifter bracket, things like that. I still have to have the drive shaft made, but I can't measure it until I get it in there because different tail housing lengths, you know the drill. So I'm going to start getting everything loaded up in the truck and we'll head over to my dad's place, use his shop. Cause one, I don't like pulling transmissions by myself using the training jack and stuff like that. I'm always just paranoid that they're gonna fall off even when I strap them. It's just, it's an irrational fear of mine. Plus I don't wanna get this thing off the lift cause if I touch it again, I'm gonna destroy it. <laughs> I'm so mad at this car right now. So in times like this, it's best to just take a step back, go work on something else, go relax. So uh, we're gonna go work on the truck. Alright, so obviously step one is pulling the 80 out of here and getting everything that we don't need. Yank that shit out of here, dude. So that means drive shaft, gone. Drop the cross member. Gonna use this to modify and make the new one fit. I'm gonna have to reuse this mount because that doesn't have one. This shifter cable, gone. Not using it. Got a B&M over there. Gonna make a stand for it. Uh, disconnect the cables. Three bolts for the flex plate. And bell housing bolts. A little bit of wiring and we're good. Now I'm sure someone's probably curious why I'm bothering to put a Turbo 400 in this truck when it has an 80 in it. And that's because this 80 just does not act right. I've had it in there for two years and I seem to be the only person on the internet that can't make an 80 work, but it just, it just won't act right. It, and I've had a lot of people look at it. The last thing was someone sent me their tune and they're like, hey, this is the tune that I had in my truck. It worked perfect, 80 swapped, it drove great, no issues threw it in there and real shortly after that, I'm not blaming them, but real shortly after that, I lost third or I lost first and second gear. So it's like, you know what dude, I'm done with it. I got a good deal on this, backed the car off the trailer, drove it into my garage, yanked it out, and here it is. So I know it works. I know it at least has reverse and first. So here's the shifter. I got this from Chase from LSX and Chinese Turbos. And then I'm going with a Jegs converter. This is a 3800 stall. Uh, these are rated for, I think, 800 horsepower. These are kind of like a hidden gem. Because like it was, I think, 370 or 380 shipped. And they hold 800 horsepower, anti-ballooning plate, all that shit. They're super good. Um, they're kind of like a hidden gem. So I, I almost wasn't going to show this just because I don't want the prices to, you know what I mean? But they're, they're good, dude. And then here is the magic sauce for all of it. You can fuck around with spacers and shit all you want, getting like an advanced adapters uh, conversion flex plate for 180 bucks. Or something that my buddy Scott told me is get a flex plate for like a 2003 or something GMC Savannah van with the 6.0. They're like 60 bucks. They have the spacer. This one came with the bolts. And this is Turbo 400 like bolt spacing. I mean, this one's gonna be drilled for Turbo 350 and Turbo 400, but it'll bolt right up to this. This is the same thing I did on the RX-7. This is the same thing I did on the LS-swapped Camaro. Uh, this is the same thing we're doing here. And if we ever swap that, it's gonna be the same thing we're use on that. They're super cheap. I'll try to remember to put the link in the description, but this was, I think, like 60 or 70 bucks. All right, tear it all apart now. Yeah, let's 
start getting to work, I guess. truck has had tranny issues. Couple. Let's be playing awake at night just digging here. That's some bolts for it. Uh there's a joke in there somewhere. Yeah, I was gonna say playing with the nuts. <laughs> Everything disconnected is ready to come out. Here we got the stock dished 5.3 flex plate versus the 6.0 flex plate. Uh, yeah, you can see the dish on camera, whereas this one's perfectly flat. And you can see that the ring gear height from the mounting face is identical. The only real difference is this one just has a spacer to make up for the different snout length on the crankshaft. And then you can see the difference in the bolt height too. And then here is the JEGS converter. It is a petite little guy. See if I can do this one-handed. So there it's sitting in the, ow, ouch. There it's sitting in that spacer right now. And you can see that all the holes are lining up perfectly. So that's gonna work mint. So we got the 400 up on the jack. Uh, I'm gonna hold on to that for future use. I might end up throwing that in the Monte Carlo down the road when I decide to LS swap it. But for now, like all my other transmissions, it'll just sit on the shelf and take up space and leak on the floor. Well, this would be the time to replace this seal, but honestly, this actually looks fine. There's a, a tiny, tiny bit of weepage, but I think it's fine. So we'll ignore it for now. And these bolts do come with like a Loctite already on them. It sucks when these back out and you gotta pull the tranny out of the way to tighten them back up. Ton of progress on this thing. Trans is bolted to the engine, new flex plates on, starters on, converters bolted to the flex plate, got the lines all hooked up, they're clearing everything. I was going to cut and modify this cross member but found this 316's plate that 
it just works perfectly. It puts everything at the right geometry. The exhaust still lines up from the fender exit. We're still good. Everything's looking great there. So the only things left to do are need the drive shaft. I dropped that off earlier and it's getting made. Gotta hook the shifter up and get that mounted. And I need a dipstick for it. So that is going to do it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to go check out some merch. First link in the description below. I definitely appreciate it. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. We'll see you next time.